Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. It is a very sad day in our country. I really love my country, but what has transpired in the last 48 hours is something that we should not witness again. You know, the encroachment into the former president's land and the incursion by goons who cut down trees and stole the animals, then later burnt it. Then they went to East Africa Spectrum, that company that belongs to uh, Odinga family. Then yesterday in Kibra, they torched churches and the mosque just to try and pit two tribes to start fighting. It's something that should be condemned. But my worry is that the voices of reasoning, those who we expect to talk about this and condemn, are loudly silent and their silence is very deafening. When Kimani Chungwa made this speech, Ya zile mashamba kubwa kubwa mumejishikia tukianzia na hapo Thika Road Nairobi hapo Ruiru. Kabla hatujaenda Taita Taveta, kabla hatujaenda Nakuru, mali ya mkenya ikivamiwa hata hizo mashamba zenyu tutazivamia na wenye hawana mashamba wapate mashamba Kenya hii. The clergy was there because he made this in their rallies, the Kenya Kwanza meetings, and he also reiterated the same in churches. And so this is something that we saw coming. Rai Ludinga came out with startling revelations that he knew that there were goons who were meeting to interfere with the Zimio demonstrations and they were planning to shed blood. Before, during and after, this group that you see here has not uttered any word. They have not condemned as was expected. The church has lost authority. They have lost their place because they have been compromised by bloody money, compromised by dirty money, compromised by corruption. During the Moi era, we had people like Ndingi, Mwana, and Zeki. Those bishops and clergy who became a thorn in the flesh to the Ruto regime, to the uh, Moi regime. They used to tell it the way it is. People like Father Wamugunda, Bishop Timothy Njoa. They talked about the ills in the society. They never cared about the stature of any leader. As long as you went astray, they would remind you. But our clergy today has been compromised and they have lost their voice. They accompany William Ruto in every church session. And they have allowed the Kenya Kwanza team an opportunity to play politics in church. The act of demonizing Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Bunodinga usually takes place in churches on Sundays. And that is the platform where they even gave a warning to Uhuru Kenyatta. That is the platform where they were given to send a warning that resulted into the incursion and the invasion of Uhuru's garden. So this church today, I'm really saddened by their silence. And if you ask me, people should even stop going to the churches because they support this kind of innovation. Some of them are still driven by the tribal instincts. They are in church, they are supposed to be neutral, but they play, they still hide that tribal card. Others are still very bitter. And if you ask them, there are Kikuyu clergy who still believe that Uhuru Kenyatta grabbed land and they support the invasion of that land. I wonder what Christ they follow because those are not the characters of, 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 of Christ. 
what amazes me even the most is that the inspector general is still very quiet to this day they have not issued any statement they don't want they, they have not told us whether they are going to investigate what i saw they were somewhere in kibran telling people to coexist in harmony which is just okay but i have seen the uh, the ig the inspector general jafet kome talking tough before their zimio rallies and even said that they would use rubber bullet on the demonstrators but yesterday when the the the, 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 the that the, the goons were there there was no police around they kept off that area intentionally and even at night they were not there when this place was being torched which means they are in kahoot with the government and they want to support illegality all these atrocities are being done under their watch i saw them giving protection to the nubian the, the, the nubian community in kibra as they chased away the azmir supporters who were demonstrating we have chosen a uh, we have chosen a path that will lead us to anarchy and total destruction this is an act of lawlessness and i have always told you that when kenyans realize that, that they can no longer trust the police that we have left goons to come and control our country that with the slightest imagination that you grabbed land that you acquired some property illegally then some group of people can come armed with machetes and rungus and crude weapons and repossess the land and repossess the property that is in question then i can assure you that kenyans will start taking matters into their own hands because if i have got a property that is supposed to be protected by the police and the police protects the invaders then i will also try and protect myself and very soon these goons will go to another property all of them will be killed some of these uh, senior uh, officials of the of the society have got guns they are they, they are licensed to carry guns or pistols and if the youth will be deluded again to invade anybody anybody's property again then people will rally and gang up and they will be waiting because already as we speak i understand that the kenya kwanza team is planning to invade several uh, other, other other property that is held to by 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 the kenyatta family they started with ruiru and i think there is one in mombasa and taitataveta and nakuru they have lined them up and what happened yesterday has given the youths you know some courage that they can invade every tom dick and harry's property and they can take away whatever is inside there they are joking with their lives because next kenyans will take matters into their own lives the war that is going on is what started during the campaigns the dynasties and the hustlers now they have realized that they cannot fulfill their promises to the hustlers they have not, they are now waging a war and resuscitating this dynasty versus the hustlers power is transient and you before you know it we will have a regime change and we will have another government what has happened today in the country is something that remains an indelible mark it cannot be erased easily and if this team is not very careful in the next regime if they shall not be in power and even if they are there they shall not be there forever i can assure you that what goes round comes round they will be they will suffer the same fate that they have initiated today if someone will be cheated to go because i understand that they, they they want to subdivide the land that they burnt yesterday and they they want to start selling it to individuals others want to go there and start building let me tell you this is an illegality and after 5 or 10 years you will see a new government evacuating and chasing away 
illegal developers in that land and then people will start crying that you know this government is interfering with people who have lived here for over 10 years yet it starts just uh, as a small thing like it started yesterday and ladies and gentlemen the clergy must not even come and tell us something about they want Raila and Ruto to talk they have lost their place in the society they cannot become a, a, a neutral arbiter because they have taken sides and it's a shame on them we are waiting for them to condemn this we were waiting for them to to talk about this before during and after but they are all quiet we, they, they are waiting to welcome the Kenya Kwanza team on, 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 on Sunday to start talking again about the, 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 the Kenyatta family, about how Guru is sponsoring, you know, the Mandamanos, and it is very shameful. I'm really pissed off because this is not a country. This is not the country that we want it to be. And the leaders who are supposed to, to, to bring peace in the society are the ones who, is fully, who are fueling tension. It is very bad and shameful. And that is my take.